Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with uh, another video and in today's video I have an uh, HP Pavilion laptop. It's a specific Pavilion laptop comes with an 8 gig of RAM and the model for this one it's 15-CW1063. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys in this video how to open it up and how to upgrade the RAM from 8 gig or whatever base memory RAM you have to a 16 gig RAM. First thing first, you want to turn off the laptop, power off, make sure it completely is powered up. Do not put on a suspension or do not suspend it or do not put in a hibernate. Power it up completely. Next, you need to get yourself a, a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set. These are really good and handy to have around. And we're going to be using a bit number in double zero Phillips and Phillips number zero. These two we're going to be using from this screwdriver set. And also you will need a, a, a memory RAM. Here I have a Samsung 8 gig. This is a DDR4 RAM. So I'll leave the link in the description where you can buy these RAMs and the models. And you also will need an opening tool. For the opening tools, I use a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick. These are really handy to have around too. And they're really cheap. And the only thing I use, like about this one, the sh soft corners, edges, that they don't actually scratch the laptop. It's really hard to scratch with this one. But they have a really round and soft edges. So we're going to be us using this one and the screwdriver only. All right, and let's get into it. First thing first, you want to flip over the laptop and we're going to be using the guitar pick or the opening tool. In this case, I'm going to stick the guitar pick between these rubber legs right here and we're going to lift up this one. It has a little adhesive tape to it, so peel it off, clean the side and put it right to the side. Same thing with this side. Lift it up and put it to one side. There are two screws in here and one screw on the other side. You do not need to remove the front end uh, covers. But you will need to use your screwdriver, the Phillips double zero, to remove three screws in front of the laptop which are visible. These visible screws, we're going to be removing them. These three screws are the same size, so don't worry about mismatching them. And then we're going to change the bit to Phillips number zero. And we're going to remove the three screws at the back by the hinges. Again, these three screws are the same size. Now, once we remove the screws back there and the screws in the front, you want to grab your opening tool and you want to stick the opening tool between the top and the bottom cover. Just lay in here, just like that. Okay. And you want to go around and you want to just a little bit of force, just twist it, go around twisting it, and you're going to hear some clicks. That's what you want to hear. If it doesn't come up, don't worry, just keep going around. Go to the side. I'm sticking the guitar pick just about three, four millimeters. I'm not sticking the whole guitar pick in there. And then go to where the internet jack is, go to the back corner, right by the hinges, lift this part up, and in here, you see, I'm doing, there's a little dent in here, and that was there, I guess, and then go here, you see, I'm just doing a little bit towards, I'm twisting towards inward, towards the uh, inside the laptop. I'm not pulling it the other way around. Stick it in. Once you have it inside, you want to bring it towards the inside. Same thing with this side. And for the sides, I have twisted backward. All right. Once you got mainly loose up, just like that, there's a clips in the middle. You want to grab from the side and you want to just kind of twist it a little bit and then lift up the from the back towards the front 
and everything will come loose. These are the clips right there. There are like a one, two, three clips that holds from the corner of the here from the laptop, I guess, from the battery. Now, once we are down here, the RAMs are going to be here. There's a one RAM already in here and eight gig uh, eight data here, and there's a one empty space. So it's going to benefit a lot once we add another 8 gig in here. We're going to have the dual channel RAM activated automatically. So what you want to do, you want to grab the new RAM. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the board. So you see this notch right there? This notch has to match the notch on the RAM. And again, you do not need to remove the battery. If you want to do this process, this is not necessary. So let's go ahead and do it with the battery on and then I'm going to show you guys how to remove the battery. So what you want to do, you want to slide it in in 45 degree angle, just like that. You don't, so put it in in 45 degree angle. Make sure all the pins are inside. Once the pins are inside, just push it towards the motherboard and you're going to hear two triggers clicking, just like that. Now the RAM is setting flash um, with the motherboard. To remove the RAM, just pull simply these two triggers apart and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And then you can remove it in 45 degree angle. So place it in 45 degree angle towards the motherboard. Make sure you hear those clicks. Okay. Now regarding the battery, if you want to if you are paranoid and you want to remove the battery, you can simply go ahead and remove it by removing one, two, three, four screws. Once you remove these four screws, the battery will come out. You just have to lift up the battery. But again, if you want to change the hard drives or RAM, as long as the power is off to the laptop, you do not need to remove the battery. Once you have the new RAM in here installed, all you need to do all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover. First, make sure you put the corners. So I'm not putting the back end first. I'm putting the front end. Stick it the corner in there. Put the other corner in there. Make sure it nicely goes in. You have to push on it. Lift it up. Lift it up and I'm pinching it. I'm not pinching it with the screen. I'm just pinching it top and bottom cover. All right, and then I'm putting it down. Now I'm gonna press the front end the sides and then work your way around all around all right and remember the three clips right here you can press gently in the middle here around the middle right on the right side so you can get those clips you know, locked in and next you want to put the three black screws at the bottom by the hinges and then three white screws in the front end and i hope you guys like this video and if you liked it click that thumbs up button i really appreciate it and if you guys have any questions any requests leave them in the comment area and i will try to answer them as soon as i can and I always answer the comments people leave also i uh, would be really nice if you guys could subscribe it really motivates and helps me to take requests and answer questions and again thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video